Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben from EFI University and we're doing a little bit of work on our spin trunk today on this uh, pretty high-end big block Chevy. And I just wanted to let you kind of follow along and watch and see what we're doing. Um, you can see that it's a pretty uh, different valve train style than most big block Chevys, which would have like a link bar style lifter or maybe even um, a keyway style lifter like this. This is real common where you'll have 936 or 937 body, you got an 850 wheel, and then typically it's got what we call a key. And then in the lifter bushing, it'll have a groove and that groove lets the lifter ride up and down and not turn in there. Um, what we're doing with this one is on the intake side there, we're using what Jessel calls a cartridge style lifter. Uh, the difference is the cartridge style lifter, the lifter and the lifter bushing are gonna go in the block as one piece. So this is my lifter. One of the advantages is it's a one inch diameter body and the wheel is inch 220. So think about if you were riding a mountain bike, the bigger that wheel is, the easier it is to go over those bumps. Well, this big block has almost an inch 100 total valve lift. It's about inch 080 or something. So that's a big lump on that camshaft. Having a larger wheel helps ease all that force in there and, and um, make our job a little bit nicer. The real benefit though, is that we can actually make runs like this and then take it out and we can pull the lifters and the lifter bushings out of the hole because that goes on there on a stud and we can inspect everything. So basically what you have is a, a bronze or a brass bushing here. The block is machined for a, an exact fit. This is about inch 312, the block's about inch 313. It's a very, very precise fit in there. And then there's a collar that's threaded on and we can thread the bushing in or out to set the height that we want for the bushing. And then it's got a set screw that locks the collar. Sometimes we call it the collar of the wedding ring. But the, the bushing has grooves in it here that you can see. So because there's no key, when I put the lifter in, it can turn. Well, once the wheel being bigger than the actual body of the lifter goes in those grooves, now it's guided by the wheel. So we call this a wheel guided cartridge lifter. And that goes in there. And then the whole piece is just gonna drop in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit. I don't know if I can do it backwards like this. I'm gonna try for you. Oh yeah, I think maybe I can get it. And um, then we will push it down and we're ready to go. We'll put our nut on there, we'll tighten it down. We go right back to making our runs and know that everything's okay. 